With local home sales quickly slowing down, how are prices being impacted? Hi, this is Eva Lane, Broker Associate with EXP Realty here in Pasadena. The latest sales data is in, and September was a very interesting month for our local real estate market. Let's dive right in, and I'll share with you what the data has to say, along with my personal experience having helped six local families successfully sell or purchase a home last month. The first thing to know is that sales activity has drastically slowed compared to the peaks we saw in the spring and compared to this same time last year. This is true across Pasadena, San Marino, La Cañada, and South Pasadena. In Pasadena, just 54 single-family homes sold last month, which is nearly a 40% drop compared to September of last year. Even more telling is the fact that only 39 Pasadena houses went pending in September. If you're not sure what pending means, that's when a home seller accepts a purchase offer from a buyer and the escrow process begins. This number is very close to the five-year record low that occurred in April of 2020 when just 34 houses opened escrow in Pasadena. And if you recall, that's the month when COVID lockdowns were first instituted in Los Angeles. The very low number of houses opening escrow last month tells us that we'll continue to see further slowing of the market. Another key stat to look at is called days on market. This indicates how long it's taking from the time a house first goes up for sale to when the seller accepts a purchase offer and starts the escrow process. For context, in April of this year, it just took nine days at the median for a house to go into escrow. But last month, it took 24 days. And if we zoom in on the higher end part of the Pasadena market, which includes homes in the $3 million plus range, the median days on market for homes sold in September was 52 days. So you're probably wondering how all of this is affecting home prices, right? The median price per square foot for a Pasadena home was $779 last month. During the same month a year ago, that number was slightly lower. So prices are still ahead of 2021, but they have been falling month over month since late spring. Up to this point, home prices haven't fallen below last year's values because of low inventory. At the end of the day, home prices are a function of supply and demand. To be sure, buyer demand has drastically fallen over the last five months. At the same time, inventory has remained fairly low, and this balance between supply and demand has kept prices above 2021 levels, for now. But with fewer and fewer houses going into escrow every month, inventory will likely rise, and this will put downward pressure on home prices in the coming months. This will create opportunities for home buyers who felt uncomfortable with the breakneck speed of the market over the last few years. And it will also create opportunities for home sellers who leverage the most effective strategies to ensure their home stands out from the rest of the crowd. In the last 30 days, I helped three home selling clients open escrow, each with multiple offers received on their home. So you can be sure that I know exactly what it takes to give my clients the best advantages possible, even in a slowing market. Thanks so much for watching and don't hesitate to reach out if you're in need of guidance with an upcoming home sale or purchase.